Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing my best to cover the World Series of Darts 2018. It's all been confirmed. There's new players, there's new venues, but I want to make sure that you guys know as much as you can about it as possible. Now, it is a little bit of a head spin in place. It's due to qualifiers from here and qualifiers from there, but I'm going to be laying it out in the video and doing my best to explain it. I love the tournament. God, I can't imagine what it must be like to be a player and traveling the world while doing something that you love. But let's dive right into it. You're going to see all the information here throughout the video, so I really hope it helped, guys. So let's start. The Brisbane and Vienna are to host the PDC World Series of Darts for the first time in 2018, following the confirmation of the year's seven events. While Rob Cross, Jamie Lewis, Dimitri Vandenberg are all going to step onto the global stage for the first time. So the ongoing global expansion of the World Series of Darts are going to see six worldwide events, followed by the end of the season finals, which are now going to be in Austria in November. Glasgow has been the last couple of years, but they've now moved the finals to Austria. So I'm sure that Suljevic is going to be doing everything in his power to make sure he is there. The year's events are going to begin with the second stage of the German Darts Masters, with a one-day spectacular being held on Friday, May the 25th at the Veltins Arena in Galtzen. Leave your, leave your comments below, guys, my pronunciations. I'm not going to change. You know what I'm like with them. I do my best. Uh, the stars of the sport are then going to return to Vegas with the North American Championship to be followed by the second US Darts Masters, which is going to be held at Mandalay Bay from July the 5th to the 7th, which I am going to and I cannot wait. No, I'm not really, guys, but I have to say that. Every video I say Vegas is the one place in the world, oh, and Australia, actually, that I would love to go to. Um, probably, I'll probably be an old man before I get there. Uh, July's double header uh, will see the third Shanghai Darts Masters held on July the 13th and the 14th at the Pullman Hotel Shanghai South before the action heads down under for the August treble header, which is going to be awesome. Absolutely love it. The Auckland Darts Masters is going to take place from August the 3rd to the 5th at the Trust Arena with the sport's top names returning to New Zealand for the fourth staging of the popular event. The action then moves to Australia down under. <laughs> that was rubbish. With the second Melbourne Darts Masters taking place from August the 10th to the 12th at the High Scenes Arena before we inaugural Brisbane Darts Masters, which is from August the 17th to the 19th at the BCEC, sees the World Series visit Queensland for the first time. The season ending, the World Series of Darts final, is going to be held from November the 2nd to the 4th at the Multivision Treasure in Vienna as Austria hosts the 24-player event. And like I say, Suljevic is going to do everything. I hope he gets there. I'm a huge fan of his. So let's have a look. So the world's current top four players, so Michael Van Gerwen, Peter Wright, Rob Cross and Gary Anderson, are going to compete in all six of the international events. They will be joined in the German Darts Masters by Austrian star Mitchell Suljevic, the reigning champion of, of league's darts winner, obviously, uh, five-time world champion Raymond van Barneveld, reigning youth champion Dimitri van der Berg, and the World Cup semi-finalist Jamie Lewis. Those guys must be buzzing to all be included in the World Series. Start to get a huge holiday, play darts and do something that you love. The top two German players from the PD Sword of Mirror at this time on the, April the 30th are also going to um, be alongside the six players from the German Super League. So obviously uh, Max Hopp and Schindler, I would imagine, are going to be the top guys there. World Grand Prix champion Daryl Gurney who and the Premier League star Gerwin Price are going to compete in the US Darts Masters. Obviously Gurney did really well last year, runner-up in 2017 at the Shanghai Darts Masters in July. Um, and there's going to be the final two PDC players, which aren't confirmed yet, are also going to be in with a shot. So keep your eyes out for the announcement for that. The US Darts Masters is also going to feature eight players from the USA or Canada who qualify for the 2018 uh, North American Championship with four uh, winners from the qualifiers to be held from the 3rd 
July the 3rd or the 4th, joined by four players from a qualifier's order of merit. I hope you understood that because I didn't. The more I read it and look into it, the more complicated it become. I would imagine the guys at the PDC that work all this out have to be absolute geniuses to do the format. So please bear with me. The Shanghai Darts Masters is going to see the eight PDC stars up against regional um, competitors with the top three players from the PDC Asian Tour following event six, joined by five Chinese qualifiers. It, it's just getting massive. This, this is crazy where darts is going. August's three events will see Van Gerwen, Wright, Cross and Anderson joined by Australian trio Simon Whitlock, Carl Anderson, obviously the reigning Auckland darts champion, and the recent UK um, uh, runner-up, Corey Cadby, who I'm a massive fan of, is back in it. So really looking forward to those three in that stage. Uh, a series of qualifying events are going to be held during July for players to win spots in the three events. To be held in Amber Cargill, whether that's right again or not, uh, the pronunciation that is, from July the 2nd to the 8th and in Warilla from July the 22nd to the 25th. So another opportunity um, qualifiers to get the players into it. Um, the Auckland Darts Masters is a feature of the top two players from the DPNZ World Series Qualifiers Merit Table, plus one player from the DPA World Series Qualifiers Merit Table, plus four players from the Auckland Darts Masters with one place to be confirmed. Again, so keep your eye out for that. The events in Melbourne and Brisbane will both feature the top two players from the DBA World Series Qualifiers Merit Table, one player from the DP NZ World Series Qualifiers Merit Table and four qualifiers, again, with one place to be confirmed. The World Series of Darts Finals will then see the top eight players from the final World Series of Darts Order of Merit joined by 16 invited players and qualifiers to complete at the finals in Vienna. Now, how simple was that, guys? <laughs> it was a head spin, I'm telling you. But just so that we can have a look through this, I'm not going to run through the players again, but we'll have a quick look and you'll see them here where they're at. So the German Darts Masters is on May the 25th in the Veltins Arena, Gelsenkirchen, Germany. You will see the players um, that are going to be in that. The US Darts Masters, which is preceded by the North American Championship, is July the 5th to the 7th at Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, America. Again, you're going to see all the list of players as I go through these and how it all works. If you do understand it more than what I do, please get in touch. Um, the Shanghai Darts Masters is July the 13th to the 14th at the Pullman Hotel, Shanghai, South China. Again, you can see the competing players um, there in the lineup for that one. Uh, the Auckland Darts Masters is August the 3rd to the 5th at the Trust Arena, Auckland in New Zealand. All your information is there. And then we head off to Melbourne Darts Masters, which is August the 10th to the 12th at the High Sands Arena, Melbourne, Australia. Again, your competing players are there. We then go to Brisbane. Well, I don't. I wish I was. I'm waiting for the phone call to take me on this World Series of Darts. I'll keep sitting by the phone, waiting for it to ring. I think I'm going to be here a very long time. The Brisbane Darts Masters, which is August the 7th to the 19th from the BCC, Brisbane, Australia. And again, all your um, players and information are there. And then we run up to the World Series of Darts Final, which is November the 2nd to the 4th at the multi Vienna in Austria. Um, and as you can see there, it is the top eight players from the World Series of Darts Order of Merit, the top four players from the PDC Order of Merit that have not otherwise qualified, between four and eight invited players at the discretion of the PDC Board of Directors. Mr. Han loves this bit, I'm sure. Um, yeah, and between four and eight of the qualifiers. So that, guys, is my rundown on the World Series of Darts 2018. Please, please leave your comments below what your thoughts are on it. If some of my pronunciations are really bad, correct me on them. It's you guys that make Darts Planet TV what it is. So I really appreciate you watching. Now, it's less than 10 hours. I just want to mention this before the Premier League uh, Darts kick off this evening. And I've launched FantasyDarts.tv as, as many of you know. Please see the information there. If you've not end, um, entered already, please do. There's about 170 members. We're going to be over 200 strong by the end of the day. It's free to enter. There's free uh, cash prize pools. Uh, 
it's it's going to be absolutely awesome site and it's going to grow there's going to be videos but i'm going to be keeping those videos guys separate from this channel it's actually going to be so check out uh, fantasy darts just search for it in youtube you'll see it already all the videos the leaderboards the information are going to be going on there because i don't want to mix the two channels um, and also don't forget to check out dartsplanet.tv that's where it's all happening that's where my videos go i've got loads of pros lined up that are going to be joining me on the show loads of cool stuff happening i don't want to reveal too much yet guys but please please keep an eye out and hit that subscribe button if you have enjoyed today's video please leave a like as well and that is it for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.